it's okay to be you. So don't let no one come through and try to reshape you, remold you into what they figured that you should be. Remember, the Lord is the one that made you. And we know that everyone that he made, we are uniquely made. Our DNA, everything is different. So he made us differently. So it is okay for you to be the person that the Lord has made you out to be. family how is everybody doing you know that I pray that all is well with you welcome back I just wanted to come in for a moment just to encourage someone I want to encourage that person you know that feels like you're different you know a lot of us struggle with that we struggle with being different set apart from everyone else and sometimes that's the way the Lord does things. He set us apart from others, you know, so we would appear to be different. Sometimes you're just being that light before others when you're set apart and being different. And all of us are uniquely made. So embrace that. Being different is such a beautiful thing. I used to struggle with that. Why am I so different? But it's the Lord that made us different. Apostle Peter began to tell us in 1 Peter 2 and 9 that we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. He said that we are a holy nation, peculiar people. It means that we are unusual, we are special, we are different. It's okay to be different. Hey, we belong to the king, so quite naturally we are going to be different. So embrace yourself you know, of being different from others. I'm telling you, it is a blessing. Once again, I used to struggle with that. Why I don't fit in? What is going on? The Lord is saying, no, I'm calling you out. You are mine. You are chosen. So I'm setting you apart. You have to be different. So embrace that. Everything that the Lord has made is uniquely made by him. Glory to God. So don't even be trying to figure out nothing else. Do not try and fit in their little cliques because I'm telling you, you are not going to fit. Why? Because you have been chosen. Just go ahead and look strange to them. You know, they say we're strange anyway. But who cares? We belong to the king. So embrace this thing, people. Embrace your, your difference. You know, your differences between others. The uniqueness of yourself. Embrace it. I'm telling you, I struggled with that. Not wanting, I wanted to be different, but I didn't want to be different. If I'm making any sense to you. In other words, I wanted to fit in, but I know I didn't belong there. So I had to come out from among people and be separated. The Lord will separate you. So embrace who you are. I pray that I've said something to encourage someone out there. And I want to leave with you, be the best you that you can be. Amen? Amen. And I also have some birthday shout outs, belated birthday to Shaquita Crawley and Pamela Kilgore. Happy birthday, ladies. I pray that you all had an amazing day. And my prayer is that God would bless you to see many, many more. I love you all, sisters. Matter of fact, I love each and every one of you on this channel too. And I thank God for those of you that have been sowing seeds, you know. I have to acknowledge you all as well. I thank God for each and every one of you that leave positive comments too. So you all have a blessed night and I will see you at that appointed time. Bye-bye.